everyone my name is Jo and today we are in my son's bedroom and I am packing to go on vacation so we are going to go to Maine the, this week we're going to go for about 10 days and we are staying in um, like a little house so we're going to go and visit Tom's parents and his parents have like a, a house here and then across the street which is like a dirt road his sister has a house with her husband and children and then on her his sister's land her husband's father built like a um, it's not really a cabin it's like it is a cabin it's but it's, it's more like a house cabin anyway we're going to be staying in the house cabin because um my sister my sister-in-law's husband's dad uh lives in turkey so when he stays he stays in that house in that cabin and he's in turkey and right now no one can travel so no one is staying in that house so we are gonna stay in the the cabin so i thought it'd be nice to share with you what i'm thinking of packing and the looks i'm gonna put together i'm obviously gonna be putting the whole look together and, and thinking about which shoes the hairband or the hair tie you know everything because i need to pack it so this is the thing with maine maine can be warm it can be hot and then it can also be cold so one the year that colby was a baby so three years ago we went to maine in july and i didn't bring jackets i didn't bring sweaters or anything because we live in virginia we don't need that and we got to maine and i had to borrow one of um colby's cousins cardigans for him because it was freezing like it was cold i mean it wasn't freezing but it was cold enough that you needed a sweater so I need to pack summer clothes, I need to pack some clothes in case it gets cold and um, it can be buggy so I need to be able to pack things that have long sleeves but aren't going to make me overheated and things that have short, it, it's a lot to pack for me. I packed for my son already so you can't see in a suitcase but there it is and we're in my son's um, bigger bedroom, he has two bedrooms, he has his baby room which is the, with the crib that he sleeps in although the side is down he doesn't sleep in the with you know it's not like a crib it's like a bed a toddler bed um and this is the room with the big bed that he'll be in when he gets out of that room all right so i'm gonna go find my first outfit and put it on and see if i think that is good enough to fit me first up i have these denim shorts from time and true which i am happy to announce still fit me since i haven't worn them since last year I did have to go up a size in these. These were um, our size 16. Uh, I tried the size 14 and there was absolutely no, it was like a no, no, a no, 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 no go. Like no way. Um, but the 16 fits great and they still fit great. I remember when I got these that I thought it was kind of weird that the seams are not, um, they're not aligned like as they usually are. They kind of come into like a V here which kind of bothered me for a bit until I realized that they never catch, they never rub. So I actually think that's actually kind of a, a neat idea. These are a little stained, but that's okay. On top, I am wearing this sunglass top from Lane Bryant, which I bought from Thread Up. And yeah, so in terms of shoes, I'm I'm gonna like pack and then I'm gonna grab my shoes and see which shoes I think go best on my head I put this um, Old Navy like chambray headband. I thought it was I mean they're not the same, but I thought it was close enough All right, so since I don't want to pack masses, we're not taking the minivan. We're taking our uh, Caprice our Chevy Caprice um, I don't want to pack masses like this space in the suitcase is all there is so I'm gonna go ahead and keep these shorts on I'm gonna like challenge myself that for every pair of shorts I have at least two tops so denim shorts are easy but I'm gonna go and find another top that will go with these shorts and pack this one in my suitcase for my second look with these shorts I paired this old navy tank it's one I have this in like several colors it's one of those open back ones which feel really nice in the summer and on top I have put I have no idea who this is by um, Oh, this is a Hollister um, kimono, that, which I brought from Goodwill, and same headband. So that is my second look with these shorts. So now I'm going to change the shorts and put on uh, another outfit that I think will go with this top. And that's what we'll do. We'll just 
keep part and change part so that everything kind of goes together. All right, I've not gone terribly different. I am wearing my Lane Bryant Capri shorts and a burgundy headband. So now I have two pairs of pants that this top goes with and now I'm gonna change the top. So I put on another wrap top. These are like my summer vacation staple. Remembering that we're going to Maine, so we're going to be, we're on a farm. There are going to be baby sheep, so we're going to be like walking around. And it's not like a sunbathing vacation. It's very much a like a <laughs> being on a farm vacation. Uh, it's going to be good, but I, this might be the only white top I take, you know. <laughs> Um, anyhow, so this is a wrap which I brought from Marshalls and is by the brand Woven Heart. It's one size, but that one size fits me nicely. And underneath is the exact same old navy top, but in white with those Lane Bryant capris, which you cannot see because my suitcase is in the way. And my son, or my husband, my son, I know was playing with my com my camera tripod. And then my husband pulled it so he couldn't get to it, and now no one knows where it is, so you're on a chest of drawers. The best I could do in the moment. Alright, so I am going to change the bottoms. I gave up on something, having to match something else, because it was getting on my nerves, and not everything has to go everything. So I picked out a completely different outfit, and this is what I'm one of the outfits I'm thinking of packing. This is a tiered uh, camo colored, let me hold up a piece skirt with gold accent which i just i just received in the mail yesterday from thread up it was brand new with tags from lane bryant i really like it the issue i'm having with styling it is that usually a skirt like this i would tuck my top in but i feel like it makes me i can't decide if it just looks like super poofy or if it looks good so my way of addressing that is to get this massive t-shirt i just got this in the mail that says next extra large men's i brought this from target from eight dollars it was part of the father's day sale and it's really big and i like my t-shirts to be big and my thought is just to put it all the way up tie a completely massive bow in it right at the front here and either have the bow out or or tuck it in a little bit and wear the t-shirt after a bit of faffing Ooh. a lot of faffing a lot of playing on and wear the t-shirt kind of fold it up or maybe tuck it in and pull it out a bit but i actually think this looks really cool together i like it because the coffee well in the picture it's gray but coffee is brown and there's brown in the skirt and there's green and there's yellow which is i just think it's kind of edgy and cool and i really like this together so this is an outfit that i'm going to be packing and i forgot a headband but obviously a black headband is what i'd wear with this all right i thought i would actually show you the other way so if you could share with me which way you prefer this is the t-shirt tucked in i added a black headband with pearls on from banana republic i think that this might be the more comfortable way to wear this i know it makes me look puffy but you can see it's the skirt that's poofy i don't have to faff around with the bow and making sure it stays in the right place so yeah i'd love your opinion tucked in or untucked with a bow this next outfit is 100 percent torrid with um a headband from i think charm and charmy charm and charlie's an awfully long time ago. This is a tight front top and crepe ankle length pants, which I guess I can't really show you because my suitcase is in the way. But this is a really comfortable outfit and it's got the longer legs, so it's great if it's buggy or a little chilly. Sticking with the longer pants, here are a pair of these brown ones from, well, they're ready brown short, uh, pants from uh, old navy and they also go with this top colby has woken up colby come here you wandering around like the lost boy you say hi say hi i just woke up say hi i just woke up all right off you go and i do actually have another top to go with these pants these pants do come with a bow they are paper bag waist but i prefer them like this and they are slightly linen-y so hopefully not too long Great coffin, my son. 
great coffin. And I didn't change the headband. I kept the same black one with the gold because I think it looks nice with this. All right, I'm going to change the top because I do have another top to go with these pants. I haven't actually worn this top since the end of last summer and I forgot how nicely it fits me and how comfortable it is. I hate these things, these clear. They don't help the top stay on the hanger and they always, ah, just end up showing. Anyhow, this top goes perfectly with these trousers. It's really comfy and cool. I just have to make sure I put sunscreen on here and I have just a navy, a navy headband. Oops. So in terms of shoes, I think I need, I definitely need some form of sneaker. My sneakers are blue, so they're gonna go with all the, the navy clothing. <coughs> Sorry. I need a basic sandal, probably for, cause I've got the gold stuff packed. I'll probably pack my new sandals that I just got from Goodwill, the Ugg, the Ugg Kookaburra ones. And then I need some shoes for just not, Mm. All right, I'll search my shoes in a minute. I'm going to take a little bit of a break and go and eat my dinner. And then either later on this evening or if it's too dark tomorrow, I will finish packing. But I've got, like, I don't need loads of clothes and I don't need loads of variety of clothes. Like the denim shorts I can wear on more than one day. We're going for literally 10 days. Uh, I've got a couple of dresses to pack and maybe one or two more options but i don't need lots and lots of clothes because like i say it's a family vacation we're not we're not going to milan you know <laughs> we're just we're chilling on a farm and we're going on lots of walks and i just i've got to be comfortable and i've got to wear practical clothes but i do still want to look quite nice all right all right so i ate dinner and now i'm back and it is it is light enough so these are the blue sneakers i'm packing they are my Pumas. They are really getting quite worn and I need to replace them. But I love them. Love them. So those are in there. These are the new sandals I brought from Goodwill that I'm going to take. We aren't going to always be uh, his parents or at the cabin. We are going to be going to Belfast, Maine and some other places where, you know, there'll be sidewalks and not dirt and not you know pebbles and stuff so um these shoes are for them and i do need a couple more pairs but that was all that i can pack right now because obviously I'm, we're not leaving tomorrow and i do need to be able to wear my shoes i picked up some sunglasses these are my kenneth cole reaction sunglasses they are brown these are my jennifer lopez sunglasses and they are black and these are my Reebok sunglasses, and they are purple. These ones I paid for. These two Tom found while on bike rides. So, they are designer, but they are not, they weren't designer prices. All right, so let me go and grab the dresses, and I'll show you the dresses I'm going to bring and um, finish my packing. Even when I try not to go overkill with packing, I end up taking way more clothes than I could possibly wear. And I am, um, I feel I'm doing that. I was trying so hard to like, only bring clothes that mix and match, but I've already gone. Mm. All right, <laughs> these are the dresses. So this dress is, I, is a blue dress from Walmart. And I actually have already worn this in red for Memorial Day, but we're gonna be in Maine on July 4th. So I thought I'd wear the blue one for July 4th. And I have my, well, I'm considering my like American headband. So that is for that day. And if we're going for a walk that day, I can wear my, I'm going show my feet. Oh, there's no shoes on my feet. My blue um, Pumas. And I can also wear the sandals. So shoes are covered with this one. I have, of course, packed a pair of bike shorts to wear under skirts and dresses. Well, the one skirt. Here I have a gap dress which I love and I want to wear and I'm gonna have to find a reason to wear and it's covered in beautiful flowers so that's coming and sometimes in Maine 
we'll we'll get up and we'll go for a walk and i'll put like clothes on for that and then if we're going to go into like one of the towns i'll get changed for that so sometimes i wear more than one you know i one outfit i guess each day but i'm pretty lazy i tend to just be as comfortable as i can i love this dress i have not worn this dress yet this is my maxi dress and i adore it and i can't wait to wear it and I actually need a top for this. What top? I think I was gonna wear, was I gonna wear this? I can't remember. I thought of, I had a cardigan to go with it. Mm -hmm. Just to protect my shoulders from the sun. And then my last, the last dress I am taking is this beautiful one from Torrid. It's a wrap dress and it's knee length and it's gorgeous, has this beautiful pattern. If you've watched my whole videos, you're gonna you're gonna recognize quite a few of these items. Well, I haven't been to work since March. I mean, I've been working, but I haven't been to work. I've got all these beautiful clothes I brought that I haven't had a chance to actually wear in the real world. Real world. So that's why so many of them are coming to me. Like I brought these clothes, I want to wear them. All right, let's get the rest of the clothes packed. All right, so this beige cardigan which i just brought from walmart it's the same as the white one i shared in the recent walmart haul and it's beautiful it's see-through it's no boundaries this is the one where you order it and it doesn't tell you what size you're gonna get but when you read the comments it's clear that you either get a large or an extra large the white one I have is an extra large. The beige one is a large. I don't know if that means that when you get beige, you get large. And when you get white, you get extra large. Or it's just a, you know, luck of the draw. But anyway, I thought this would go nicely with the long black dress. And just a, it goes with the sandals. Just a nice overall lightweight sun protector. All right, so this outfit is black and white and I don't really like to wear white around my toddler, but it's such a nice summery color. It's hard to not. And I am wearing, I don't know if you can see, these are free contour length soft pants, which I recently brought from, ooh, the light is so bad. It is like eight o'clock at night um, in the white and black. I tried putting a pink top with this. The problem with these soft pants is I love them, but they're a little crutchy, like, they show a little crutchy air. You know, like some some trousers just show your crutch. It's not that they're tight or anything. They're just, I don't know, crutchy. Well, I don't like the crutch area on these to show. So trying to find a top that's long enough. And my pink top was just like there. It was just, just a little short. This one's the right length. And this is a, a Macy's top. And I'm happy to wear it with just the top and the pants. But I kind of like the... The slightly hippie vibes of having this jacket with this top and these trousers I think that's kind of kind of me <laughs> a little a little art different I don't want to say artistic I think the sleeves make me feel like a bit of an artist but I like this outfit and my black headband and yeah this is totally something that I would wear so I'm going to pack this but know that I can and this, of course, goes with everything. I'm wearing it today, so it needs to get washed. But knowing that I can also wear this, and yes, it is a bit see-through. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> My hair is getting, like, frizzier and frizzier from trying clothes on. I have taken out the white top that I packed earlier, and the top that I, the outer top I just showed you, to pair with these lovely trousers. These are perfect for putting on if it gets buggy, are a little chilly because they are full length but they feel like pajama bottoms they look like pajama bottoms these were from thread up and i do like them like a lot and they're very comfortable i, I feel like i've gained weight during lockdown because everything that i wore like three weeks ago feels just a little bit snug i did just eat dinner <laughs> my bodies fluctuate but it's hard to try stuff on when you don't feel your best but I had to try stuff on there was nothing worse than getting to your destination and all the clothes that you thought fit you just don't and then you feel like crap the whole time you're there no one needs that when they're on holiday all right here's this outfit same headband 
I think I've got to be getting there of outfits. I, I can't possibly pack. I mean, really. Let's go. I need a pair of jeans. And I, I think that might be it. Yeah. I think I'm pretty much done. <laughs> also, I have to decide which of these outfits I'm actually going to wear in the car. Because it's going to take us two days to drive there. It's 12 hours from here. We're going to do six hours the first day. Stay in a... A motel and then six hours the second day and get there so I do need to take out two lots of outfits to wear just to sit in the car and uh, this would work well for that except that they're long and I want to keep them for if it gets buggy we should be able to wash clothes but I don't want to rely on that so I'm packing enough clothes to not have to do laundry all right I'm gonna pack pajamas and was it one more outfit one my jeans that's why i just said my pajamas my jeans and that should be it i wasn't going to show you the jeans because i'm just going to pack them but then i realized i have not worn these jeans these particular skinny i think these are rockstar jeans from old navy i have not worn these jeans since before lockdown and talking about weight changing i thought i better try them on and yes they do still fit thank goodness Thank goodness to Old Navy for putting in stretch and being generous in their sizing. On top, I am wearing another Old Navy top that I forgot I need to pack. I have the mom, Tom has dad, and Colby has kid. And uh, these are our matching family shirts, and I can't believe I nearly forgot to pack it. This will go with my jeans, uh, my denim shorts rather. It's just a nice casual top. I have totally overpacked, but I am not going through this. I was allowed this one suitcase. This is what someone I agreed on for me and Colby. And it all fits. And if I don't wear it, I don't wear it. And if I do, I do. So wh whatever. Whatever will be, will be. A few other things I need to pack. This is my long sleeve top. So if it happens to be buggy when we go for a walk in the woods, I can put this top on. I can put it on top of other tops because it's open on the back. Or I can just wear it. It'll be close enough in the back if I put like my black wrap on or something it, that that will work so this is for the bugs i'm hoping i don't have to wear this because i'm hoping it isn't terribly buggy but you never know this is my hoodie again i'm packing this in the hope that i do not have to wear it this is an old favorite and it's too warm to try it on and i'm gonna make it fit it should still fit i love that i did not show you one of my hats, I am bringing this hat. This is from Trespass in England. This is my summer hat. <laughs> I don't think I look particularly good in summer hats, but gotta keep that sun off my face. And my bathing suit. This is the bathing suit that I brought from Walmart that has see-through parts. And I love this. I do not know if we'll be going swimming. I think we'll be going to the beach. The The Belfast has like a, a pebbly beach, but typically we put the kids in the pad and pool. And so this is my, my bathing suit to wear since I haven't had a chance to wear it anywhere else. So apart from a few other things, I think I'm packed. So thank you for helping me pack. If you have uh, any kind comments, please leave them below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And consider subscribing. It would be great to have you as a viewer. Alright, bye!